This is the 2012 Ordinary Level Paper 2. First question is that these two people, Peter and Neve, go to a school and they're trying to guess the gender of the next three students that walk through. And the first part of the question is for you to write out all the different possible outcomes. The best hint I can give is already given really in the question that BGG is one outcome. So from there you should be able to figure out all the other ones. The only other hint I would give is that you can work out how many outcomes there are. Notice that for any individual person coming through there are two possible outcomes, either boy or girl, and you're looking for the next three students. This is how you work out how many outcomes there are. You take two, which is the number of possible outcomes for any one student, either boy or girl. So there are two possible options, and we're looking for the next three students. So we take two to the power of three, and that gives us eight total outcomes. Now first let's take a look at the extreme case where only boys come through. And there's only one way that that's going to happen, and then that's when you get boy, boy, boy. Just one away from the extreme then is when you have two boys and one girl coming through. And there are three ways that that can happen. You can get boy, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, or girl, boy, boy. And notice the way the G here seems to be pretty much moving through that set. And that's how I'd just like to make sure that I get all of my outcomes. Next we have the scenario where there's one boy and two girls. Uh, again, there's three different ways that can happen, and I'm trying to move the B through this set again, just moving the letter that stands out, I'm moving that through one piece at a time in each of my scenarios. Lastly then, consider the case where no boys at all come through the door. In that case, we just have girl, girl, girl. And of course, there's only one way that that can happen. There's You can't reorder this so that it appears a different way. Uh, so notice, first of all, that in total I have eight outcomes here. And that's exactly how many I predicted I would have with this statement. Secondly, if you're familiar with Pascal's triangle, you may recognize this. Uh, this is just the first four levels of Pascal's triangle here. Uh, so this is pretty much what we have. We've got one outcome, three of this outcome, three of this outcome, and one of this outcome. That's the same as this level here. And that is the power of three level, if you like. The Pascal's triangle idea only works, though, if uh, you've got two possible outcomes in one case. So this is true here because we have just either boy or girl are individual outcomes. Um, so there's just two. Uh, whereas this here will work for any number of possible outcomes for an, an individual event. In part two, Peter says these outcomes are equally likely and Neve disagrees. So you have to determine what more information you need to determine which of them is correct. Um, so first of all, let me ask, if you just have one event, what is the probability that the person who comes through the door is going to be a boy or a girl? Do you know that probability or do you need more information? It's entirely possible that this is an all-girls school. For example, Peter might be a nickname for Petra or something along those lines. Or indeed, Neve could be... Uh, that boy's name. You never know with parents these days. Um, so it may be that I, this is the only possible scenario, or indeed that this is the only possible scenario. So you're going to need a bit more information. Um, it's entirely possible that the outcomes are equally likely. If you look at the world gender statistics, you see that boys are uh, slightly more common than girls. Um, is that necessarily the case in this school? We don't know. Uh, that is a worldwide figure, maybe it's different in Ireland or whatever uh, school these children are in. The extra piece of information you need then is the number of male and female students in the school, or indeed the ratio of male to female students, or the percentage of male and female students. Any of those answers uh, pretty much give the same information. In part C, you're, you're assuming now the outcomes are equally likely, and you're asked what is the probability that you'll get two girls followed by a boy. My hint is just to look back at part A and see what your answers were. Um, so, for example, in this question we're looking for two girls followed by a boy, which is this scenario here. Now that is one scenario out of eight, so that means the probability is one over eight. I'll show you an alternative method now. 
since the outcomes are all equally likely, uh, we can also assume that they're independent in that, for example, if one twin walks through the door, it's pretty likely that the other twin is going to be one of the next couple of people to walk through the door as well. So we're assuming that all outcomes are completely equally likely. So the probability of getting girl, girl, boy is the probability of getting a girl times probability of getting a girl times the probability of getting a boy which is just a half times a half times a half which is 1 over 8 and that matches the probability in the other method where you just pick this one out of the 8 total outcomes. In the last part of this question then uh, each of these two students make their guesses at what's going to happen and you have to say which of their guesses is more likely to be correct and again we're assuming that all outcomes are equally likely. So Neve suggests that there will be at least one girl among the next three students. All the scenarios in which at least one girl comes through the door now is marked in red here. So in total there are seven. Peter's suggestion is that you'll either get three boys or two boys and a girl coming through the door next. I've marked all of those scenarios in green. I think it's it's coming out looking like black but uh, it's this scenario here and these three scenarios so this is where three boys come through the door and this is where you get two boys and a girl coming through so in total there are four of those. Neve's probability of being right then is 7 out of 8 and Peter's probability of being right is 1 eighth plus 3 eighth which is 4 eighths or a half. Don't forget your final statement at the end that uh, Neve is more likely to be correct.